punctured spinal cord just below the occipital bulge, I'd say. Very vulnerable spot. Whoever did this was a performer. Got the spinal cord on the first try. And another thing, you have to have the guy quiet to do it. That means more than one killer. Unless he was doped or the killer was a friend of his. I don't see how he could have been doped if he was the party that called me on the phone. If. And since you didn't know the guy, according to you, there's always the faint possibility that you wouldn't know his voice? Or am I being too subtle? I don't know. I haven't read your fan mail. Don't waste it on him, French. All right. The customer had something he was afraid to keep around. That means he knew somebody was after him and getting close. So he offers Marlowe a hundred bucks to keep it for him. It must have been something semi-legitimate, right, Marlowe? You could leave out the semi. So what he had was something that could be kept flat or rolled up. And we don't know whether it was found or not. Any chance to check his visitors? You don't even have to pass the desk to get to the elevators. Maybe that's why he came here. That and the homey atmosphere. Okay. Well, whoever knocked him off could come and go without any questions asked. And that's about all we know. Okay, Bafis? Not quite all. Without the toupee, Bafis and French realized that Dr. Hamilton was really mile away Marsden, who used to be a runner for a gangster by the name of Ace DeVore. <laughs>